I'm walking the dog. Hey guys, so we're at Damascus Road here. I'll uh, take a tour from the inside and then I'll go do the outside. It's because there's somebody else out there at the moment. So walking in, it is the front door is walking into uh, your kitchen, dining room, and the living room area. Let's scan here first before I go around the room just so you can get a layout here. A set of stairs over here, obviously, going to the basement. A little bit of history on this home. Uh, this is not the original home on this piece of property. There was a fire, the house burnt to the ground, and uh, this is a rebuild. Um, trim and all that is in good shape. The house is lived in, that's for sure. So you have a, it's a laminate floor here. And this looks like a, a, a laminate click uh, tile looking uh, flooring here in the kitchen. We're looking through. So this house is fairly new. And the windows are all in good shape as you can tell here. So you do have a secondary entrance. Of course, it's walking right in to the kitchen. Looks like for these people, it's a cluster there. They got litter box and food and garbage bucket so hard to come in through that door <clears throat> and nowhere it'd be nice to have a little, little hook right there to hang up a jacket or two and great for barbecuing as uh, you can tell they have their barbecue out there and stuff the countertops are your standard here for the most part laminate you know uh, ordinary countertops no quartz or nothing looking in the sink here these black sinks, they're gorgeous when they shine. I have one and I absolutely hate it. Uh, mine's a lot cleaner than that, mind you. Um, but it's always good to see a home like this here. You can tell the people that are living here and how they care for their home. Windows are in good shape. This is tile backslash. This one is, there is some grout in there. I think the house could use a real good cleaning. I mean, you just look at the plugs and stuff there. Stove has been well used. Same as this thing. These cabinets look like it's a oak cabinet, <clears throat> but it's been painted. You can tell, so it will wear. Typically around right here, you can start seeing some wear. That's the hard part with painted cabinets, if they're not finished with a with a gloss afterwards. Now that looks worse than what I see, to be honest with you, the way that's showing up in the camera here. It's just shiny, so that's just the light beating off it. That's not actually, they look pretty good actually. We have a nice big island. Again, it's got the same countertop, but nice and big. Dishwasher there, lots of cabinets there. And stools over here. Let's see some of this stuff though. Pantry here. Those drawers that slide out. closet is what this is supposed to be. So overall, I mean, kitchen's in good shape, just needs a desperate cleaning. In the living room, let's kind of go through here. Floors are all in good shape. Really the windows are as well. Lots of kitty cats in the house. You can tell like lots of flower pots because of the staining from the 
where they were sitting on the ledge. Give you an idea again, like you see this. We're gonna mark like this here, but this is a high traffic area, I'm sure. This is a heat pump up in there, which would be great for this space. I'm gonna say along with a cleaning, I mean, it's not a desperate paint job, but it's it's gonna be in need. You can see a couple little scuffs here and stuff like that. The baseboards again, desperate need of cleaning. So I'm just gonna back up a second. So we're coming in to this part here where you have this, this is probably a linen closet. That's the coat closet for the front door. There's a native one over here, as you can see. So they have a stand there, no coat closet right by the front door. <clears throat> Typically, these homes would have one right here, and it would it would come out like right here, blocking that side. Obviously, they didn't do that and put it over here. We'll go to the right. There's two bedrooms up here on this floor. Okay, this is just a measuring stick. But the trim is all in it's all in good shape in here again a couple nicks here obviously there's there's not a whole lot of room walking through here <clears throat> so it's getting banged up a bit so this is a this is a great size room over here nice big closet TVs on the wall, two dressers in here. This is definitely a queen bed. A couple of stickers and stuff on the ceilings. Nice look out the backyard, that's for sure. And this room's in good shape. Probably out there. Going to the bathroom. This is a nice big bathroom. <clears throat> Laundry hook up here. Shelf. You could put cupboards up there if you want to hide some stuff. Laundry detergent, put them in the cupboards. Lots of room for that. Same kitchen cabinet you have. And the countertops all match. The house is fairly new, so it is showing that way. Master closet, we'll call it a, a step in, not a walk in. There's not a whole lot of space there. It's jammed pretty tight. Access up here for the attic. Again, it's the same thing in here. I mean, the house is in great shape. Like, you know, there's blemishes on the wall. <laughs> this is huge. That's a king size bed with a dresser over there. Dresser and nightstand here. spots there three nice big windows lots of sunlight these windows are all in good condition missing the screen for this one this here looks like some this inside do really that's all that is I'm guessing they don't use the Venmar system we have an 
ensuite. Again, everything is matching, which is nice to see. Let's peek window out here. Again, you see the water build up here. Fan does work. Plus they have a Ben Mar system in the house. Shower here. There's always the yucky part. Shower door. Staining on it. Overall, it's in good shape. Yeah, the house is actually in good condition. I'll say that all the way through, I'm sure. Smoke detector is hanging off the wall. I like this. Nice big... Uh, Stairwell going downstairs, nice wood steps, nice, nice rail as well. Finish work here wasn't really done. And a different trim down here. Let's see right here, this board isn't finished. And this area here is getting some abuse. Nice set of stairs though, I like those. The door frames, the door. Again, this is a high traffic area here. I do notice a difference in the temperature down here as soon as I came down here. Cut out there. Wasn't totally crack filled right in here. It's a great, great space down here for sure. Big space down here. You have double doors for a walkout. Nice to have those. See this transition strip here. It's not quite on there. These windows outside are a little dirty, dirtier. And no screens as well. I'm getting a friend here. These doors. Like, I'm gonna say it again. I think the house needs to go clean and touch up on some crack fill maybe like you see the spot right here a good cleaning and a good paint job make a world of a difference in here this is a massive uh, family room great storage in here underneath the stairs it's full Missing uh, part of the vent cover there. He's doing something with their fingerprints. It's almost too big of an area. To be honest with you, it almost could have divided that up some. But also nice for entertaining. Nice swimming pool out back would be nice. And area in here. You could almost make this a secondary suite as well. You got lots of room here. Uh, you could probably put a kitchen here because the bathroom is right there. You could put a little kitchen here if you wanted to. Oh, full bath. Again, everything's matching. Great, great area. Tap is dripping. Again, it's good. You see, somebody messed up there. It's 
kind of sad to be totally honest with you. This is a fairly new home. I'm just run the trim up like that. I'm guessing these, you see this here, this is a bulkhead probably for the furnace. This wire that's hanging down, they're actually got somebody coming in to put crown molding up so that they can hide all that. That'll be done. Nice big bedroom here as well. So I'll have to check the square footage on this house, but it's it's actually it's a big home. It really is. Again, a lot of the windows missing the screens. I mean maybe they're around, we'll see. Standard closet, wire rack shelf. But again, it's all, this is in really good condition in here. I was having to see some blemishes. Door frames are always getting beat up in homes. That's why I like to point them out to you. But again, that's a, that's a nice big room. Lots of sunlight. This is a second bedroom down here. So you got four bedrooms. Here's there for a workout room. I believe they're getting this painted before closing as well. The screen is in that window, but it's all good. You see this? When I see that little bit of mold and stuff growing there, I mean, that wipes right off. It's the people are not using the air exchange. This house is just full to the brim. Again, another cover missing there. So they're not actually using it properly. Big spot there they had to do. Another smoke detector off. And then your utility room. Second panel. I'm not sure why they have two. I know there's power going out to the garage, I believe. They could have a generator in here as well. This is a nice furnace. It's electric forced air as well as wood burning. So you have the option of both, and it's just a switch. Flip the switch, put your wood in. If you don't want to run wood, flip the switch back and turn on the electricity, and you're going to get your forced air. So we got the hot water tank here. It is a, a least hot water tank from MB Power. You got your pressure tank, your water softener, a water filter. This is your air exchanger. And they have what we, uh, I believe this one here is a ultraviolet light for killing any bacteria or E. coli that could end up in your water. House well constructed. Looks like they were going to put maybe a washer and dryer down here. You get two water lines coming in here. They look like they're both cold though. Oh no. So they just use the blue line. This is actually hot. Yeah. Let me just see so we can tell here. The floor, it looks like they built it up some, a bit of a sub floor there. But overall inside here, it's a great house, good size. Lots of bonuses in here, three bathrooms. It needs a paint job. I'm gonna take a second video of outside.